we're on episode three. Like I said, the first two episodes went down so smoothly. I really enjoyed the pacing. I'm really excited to see what the rest of this season brings. There's a comment on YouTube that I've seen a few times, and I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the word, but I'm kind of looking forward to finding out what that comment is about. It must be kind of like, I don't wanna say a big theme, but it must be something that people recognize from the show. So I think that'll be a season three discovery. Anyway, let's not waste time and jump right in. Is that his wife? Is she cheating? If this is what I think it is, it's like, man, what love does to us, eh? <laughs> Sometimes. But maybe it's not his wife. Maybe it's a hit. I think it's his wife. I think getting down is going to be a challenge. Why did it, go confront her? Okay. Yeah, good call. <laughs> oh, he has to listen to them. That sucks. I never liked her, if you recall. What's up? I can't get down. Why not? Because I'm scared of heights. So what did you climb up there for? I'll explain later. Just climb down, there's a ledge there. So you've got no rope? No. Oh, fuck. A lot of help, he is. Just don't look down. Keep your eyes closed. I feel that, man. I'm afraid of heights, too. Keep going, keep going. No way this goes smoothly. <laughs> Oh, f***ing crazy! Gary? Not cool, Tat. Not cool. Were they already separated or something? Did I miss that? Marriage is over. How long did it take for you to get over Ali? Who says I have? Yeah, I was thinking that. But she's so unpleasant. Like, what does he see in her? I don't get it. Anyway. I'm going to stay at my joint. No, it's all right, man. In the shed. Yeah? Yeah. How do you have fun? See you soon. Raphael Ray. How you going, mate? I'm good, mate. How'd it go down? Uh, Tran. Oh, Tran. Uh, I just napalmed him. Uh, so you get a cup? Uh, you throw some jam in it, boiling water, mix it up, boom. So it sticks to the skin? Mm. Sticks. Mm. Melts all the skin off. Oh. <laughs> oh! He looks like I looked at them all at the time. <laughs> What's that, man? Caviar. Yeah, I think I'll, uh, I think I'll pass on You don't like caviar? Uh, never, never tried it, to be honest. Mm. You kidding? Good. Mm. With a silver spoon? You can't eat caviar with silver. Yeah, I'm not really a join a crew kind of guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> I might have some delivery work for you, though, if you're keen. Mate, whatever you got, throw it at me. Anything you want to? Mate, if the money's right, I'll fucking do anything. <laughs> no, there are, there's definitely things he won't do. Pretty. Try that. Okay, done. How'd you go with that? Yeah, I loved it. <laughs> he didn't like it. He hates it. <laughs> he hates it. So I booked a lane at two. I don't want to go bowling. Why not? I'm 12. Oh God, I'm going to struggle with her this season. <sighs> so what's been happening? Good. Take the phone away. <laughs> <laughs> My sentiments exactly. Huh? Are you ever going to get married again? 
don't know. I've never been lucky in relationships. And some people are, some people aren't, you know. I think I'm just destined to be on my own. I'm not going to get married. Mm hmm. We don't have to. I'm just going to have lots of boyfriends. Mm hmm. Do what you want. <gasps> Oi! <laughs> How are you? Oh my god! Oh my god! It's a baby. That would hurt. Uh... Um, 18 weeks. Wow. Oh, yeah. She's big for 18 weeks. Enough, yeah. How's Brucey? <gasps> um, Brucey passed about um, three months after we split up. Fuck. So, yeah. I... Sorry. So about you? You you happy? You look happy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm happy. It's good. Are you happy? I'll get there, you know. <coughs> good to see you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you're happy, Dal. Oh, fuck, that's um, tough. Huh? Take care of yourself. Yeah, you too. Oh, fuck, that shit hurts so much, though. Hey. What's up? How much? Who the fuck are you? Same old shit. Jesus Christ! Who are you? I'm Adrian. Fuck off. Little shit. <laughs> Arrogant. Oh my god. Feet off the table, close mine. What? Feet off the table. Oh my god. Who raised that kid? Are you kidding me? Ray, is it? Yeah. Hey, uh, I'm Constable Rogers. Country. Oh, okay. Are we gonna go back to the journalist writing the book at all? Like, that felt like a short story. Bill, Ray's here to take you home. Who? You're my son? I'm gonna go to my house. Yeah, I'm gonna take you home tomorrow, okay? I'll have to call social service. Just put him in the shed. I'll go back to Darby's. No way, mate. He's gone. Uh, that's tough. Mate, I know you guys had your differences over the years, but he's your old man. You need somebody that can watch him 24 hours a day. I, I, can't, I can't do that, you know? Yeah, fair enough. I mean, it's so tough because if that's the same man that abused you as a child when you needed help and he wasn't there for you... That's a real moral dilemma when you're older. Do you then take care of him? I wouldn't blame him for washing his hands of it. Oh man's gonna walk a bit. Well, let's go get him. They do that. What are you doing? Oh, I'm burning up. Oh, I'm burning up. Can't have you yeah. walk around the neighborhood when oh. you're uh, and your birthday ah. sitter. Well, I woke up Sunday morning with no way to hold my head. My grandmother had Alzheimer's and she lived with us in high school. She moved in with us so that we could take care of her. And they really do wander off a lot, um, undressed in the middle of the night. They don't know, right? Um, but that's such a common thing. If you know anybody with dementia or Alzheimer's is, yeah. But I feel for Ray, that's a tough situation. Like I said, you know, he was a child and he was vulnerable and this man not only wasn't there for him, but abused him in that situation. So it's such a conflicting feeling and decision to make. It's like, well, now that I'm the adult and he's the vulnerable one, what do I do? Obviously, you want to be a better person than they are, but... I definitely understand where he's coming from. And also to say, like, maybe place him in a care center because he does need 20, the, like, um, anyone with dementia does need 24-hour supervision. So that definitely makes a lot of sense whether or not he financially supports that. That's a different decision. And, you know, I guess he'd, he's going to have to. But yeah, hmm. All right, I'm just going to jump into the next episode.
Cut the crap, princess. That's got to be about Brittany. Surely. <laughs> Fuck. She's being so annoying. And that little shit of a friend. Oh, my God. Her boyfriend. Who talks to someone's parents? That oh, okay. I don't know. Anyway. I'm not around a lot of kids that age, but yeah. I don't know if that's the new normal, but okay. He's meditating. I just had the best idea for a new business. Fuck, what's this shit? Turn that shit off. Making home porn. No. We go around to people's houses with camera, lights, and all the gear, and shoot sex tapes. What? Where is this coming from? Why would anybody want to do that? Yeah. People will love it. I wouldn't. Yeah, but you're approved. Mate, this is a great idea. It's not. Homo-erotic, right? But... Means... gay. Really? Mm. Yeah, that wouldn't work. <laughs> wow, look at you here. <laughs> What's this? When are you due? Yes, <laughs> so what about you? You still cracking heads? What else am I going to do? Do you love what you do, aside from money? I mean, surely not. to die. Oh fuck. Just lower the frame. <laughs> oh shit. What's going on? Nothing. No. Right. So you can smell it. Cut the crap, princess. It's yours, not mine. Why are you such a smart ass all of a sudden? Why'd you have a gun? What matters is you shouldn't be playing with it. If you didn't have a gun, then I would be playing with it now, would I? Can we go shooting? No. Is she not gonna get in trouble at all? She shot a gun. She sh there needs to be like, like a really hard lesson here for her. She could have killed herself. Don't come my room again, right? Huh? huh? Don't fire on me. What a Excuse me? Nothing. She gets away with way too much, man. If you couldn't tell from my response, I was raised in a very different household. <laughs> mm. Superman, right? He sees Wonder Woman, right? Mm. Mm. She's stark as sunbaking on top of this building. He thinks to himself, with my super speed, I could fly down there, give her a quick couple of pumps, and then be out of there before she even knows what hit her. Rape her. Wonder Woman jumps off her feet and goes, what the fuck was that? The invisible man goes, I don't know, but my ass is fucking killing me. <laughs> <laughs> Rape aside, that's a pretty funny joke. Eh, that's a pretty funny rape joke. I need you to go to my house. Mm -hmm. Grab something for me. His porn. Yep, no. Already got those. Oh, good. Just grab the black bag. Mm. Uh. <clears throat> <laughs> Miss Thing, like she owns the house. Fuck off. You right? Are you right? Why is she strutting around like she owns the place? Ugh. A lot of people are getting on my nerves <laughs> these last couple episodes. Your pee-pee movies. 
They're at Gary's. Idiot. <laughs> How could she not piece that together? Ted's new boyfriend's a bit of a cunt. <laughs> Should have shot her. Yeah. So what's this? Open it. What is it? A bajankle. That's the comment. That is the comment. Jankle. Why is it in the shape of an ankle? You've had your cock in this. Oh. Hi. You put your cock in it. Yeah, but why in the shape of an ankle? And then you play with the foot. Oh, God, okay. God, he's got all the fetishes. Okay. We don't need to witness what? your face as you're... T why would you put your c*** in a foot? Because I've got a foot fetish. He's got every fetish under the sun. You need help, mate. <laughs> I've got a job for you. OK. What is it? This way. It's down here, he said. He's going to stand there, are you? Jeez, the people are so rude today. <laughs> Look, get this bitch out of here. My fuck's gonna be home in like an hour or so. She's somebody's daughter, fuck it. What do you want me to do with it? Take it out to jury. Why do they keep saying it? Pig around the back of the farmhouse there. Feed it to the pigs. Why do they keep... Okay. I knew for him, women and children, like when he said, there's nothing I won't do. <laughs> what do they say in Snatch? It takes 20 minutes for pigs to devour a body. That's hardcore shit, man. I mean, he's done. He's done a lot of hardcore stuff, so. Yeah, I thought so. No, no, I can't believe, believe All right, so I finally saw what the vajankle was. Um, never would have guessed that because <laughs> obviously I've seen the alternatives, but uh, yeah. So the impression I'm getting from this episode and the last episode is that maybe we're setting up an arc that Ray wants to leave this world behind. Obviously the conversation he had at the boxing gym and then just towards the end where he couldn't go through with the order. Um, you know, he's attaching a lot of humanity to his job and even uh, towards in the... Um, the opener, like when he didn't even split the money after he killed that guy who tried to rob him. Like he just seems to be like not really feeling it anymore. I, I'm not saying he was passionate about it before, but I think he was able to make a distinction um, and just, you know, this is my job and this is what I do. Even when he was talking to the journalist for the book, which by the way, whatever happened to that storyline, I don't know. Um, but he was like, no, I was in the army and I went to shoot people. It's the same as I do here. I get paid and I shoot people and I don't feel anything about it. Whereas now he seems to have feelings about it. Like he can't just detach completely. That's the impression I'm getting from these first, um, well, we're four episodes deep now. So that's the impression I'm getting that we're going to wrap this up, that he's probably going to leave this world, but who knows? Well, I think I do. I think that's where we're headed. I don't know. But yeah, this was definitely more character development these last couple episodes. There was less... I mean, they did show some crime stuff, but it just seemed to really lean into how Ray's feeling, how Ray's doing, what his emotional state is, what's going on at home, bumping into Allie, talking about Bruce. He didn't talk about Bruce in the last couple episodes, like episode one and two, but he was brought up in the last two. Like he's obviously, you know, struggling a little bit. So we're on that journey with him. Um, I'm just ready to like keep going with this series now. I'm curious. There's only five episodes left. 
which is kind of exciting, kind of sad, you know, like I'm going to miss this show, but I don't want to think about that yet. I just want to enjoy this, enjoy these next few episodes. Thank you to everyone who's been joining me so far. I hope you enjoyed this reaction and I will see you in the next one. Bye.